stream button. Now press full cam. Can they hear us? They can hear us! Put on full cam. Whoa! <laughs> I got to snap at you. See how I'm being trained? Hello! We are, let's scoot up a little bit. <laughs> Uh, today we're gonna be stream or we're gonna be streaming the unboxing of our edition of Bayonetta 3 Trinity Masquerade. Uh, after a long ordeal with Amazon sucking really bad, um, I got my I got my edition delayed multiple times until uh, it was canceled. But GameStop luckily still had it in stock, so now we're gonna unbox it. If you're wondering, hey, how how are you unboxing it right now if you've been playing it for like the past few weeks or like two weeks? Uh, the answer to that is I had to buy it digitally because Amazon again sucks. All right, so now we're just gonna slowly open well, it. Don't you wanna describe the front portion of the front? Okay, fine, we will first describe the front, <laughs> the front portion because we're we're gonna describe it for our deaf viewers. So first we're gonna describe the so first we're gonna describe the back. There is a there is a cr a waxing crescent and a waning crescent along with a full moon in the center. The full moon has slash marks that look like a three. Uh, that honestly doesn't look like almost any of Bayonetta's like Zorro. Bayonetta's abilities are mostly shooting. I know she does do some slashing, but this seems very out of character for her. All right, now we're gonna go to the front. The front has Bayonetta three, uh, Bayonetta three's version of Cereza, also known as Bayonetta. Uh, we got uh, these are the gun. This is the guns that we just unlocked in our last part. It is of the ones that you you get from being like the train, uh, the train gun slash big sword thing. Uh, there are various forms of angels that are imp almost impossible to see, even when you're sitting right in front of it. Um, it's red. It is very red. There, there is a version of Bay. There are multiple versions of Bayonetta here that we have not encountered yet uh, that I'm actually really interested in about. So first of all, there is another form of Bayonetta right here who looks kind of like a skater girl. She is on skates, and that is actually the outfit that we are currently using in our playthrough, and that's the the first alternate world Bayonetta that we encounter, uh, that we encounter that like gives us new un unlockables. Um, but there are two others on here. One, it almost looks like they have, ooh, it looks like they're in Egyptian garb, which is actually the part that we are working on right now. So that's, that's possibly gonna be the next uh, character that we unlock. There's also one that has like a microphone in their hand and almost looks like the Mad Hatter. All right, so now if that satisfies my co-host, we will now go into each thing that we first go through. So this is our Bayonetta 1, um, our Bayonetta 1 display case right here. We just got, <laughs> we got Bayonetta 1 on that side. And then we got her <laughs> o open backed um, butt out face backwards booty out timber, um, and it's got the it's got that red background. Oh my god! What? It's just oats. Oh yeah, Mr. Oats. Yeah. She's got Gamora in the background. There's also Luca and little girl Cereza. Then from there we have the regular, uh, the regular box of Bayonetta three, and this is the one that also is going to have our physical copy of Bayonetta three, which uh, we may just leave in the box because I have, to, like I said, I had to get the digital copy because uh, uh, Amazon was sucking decidedly. And then we got our third game here. And this is our Bayonetta 2 uh, disc. Oh yeah, and there's no like fancy art on the back of this one. This is actually just like the regular copy. I thought that there was a fancy version of this one, but there's not. Uh, and then for Bayonetta 2, we have the blue background. 
uh, and on here is just our Bayonetta 2 uh, like longer hair Luca kind of looks like he is like a part of a hipster organization you got the masked Lumen who spoiler alert uh, later turns out to be Father Balder from the first game uh, and then on the back uh, we got uh, another like really cute pose of her she's got a kissy like a kissy face along with like She's just in like a, a lot nicer repose than just like standing backwards. And if you're wondering, the box smells it smells reminiscent of like old book fair. Ooh, that's a nice feature. I just I'm gonna sniff it. All right, you gotta find the damn one. All right, so that is our disc portion of that. But underneath that, then we have the art book. So right on the front we have something. Is that supposed to, it looks like there, it's, there's people in the chat. Oh, it's like color my world. Is it? No, that is the, the it's saying that the stream is starting. Um, it looks like, a, oh, it's her heel right there. That's at her foot and on it is color my world, which is the new gun from Bayonetta 3 um, and then there's also like the tassel that's like indicative of Bayonetta 1 on the back it looks like we have uh, another foot but this one looks to be belong to Luca Let me see. do you want to open that up? Bit incoming, <laughs> as, as they say. <laughs> wow, you get this. <laughs> wow, Luca got the Sweet Home <laughs> Alabama's on. Is that indicative of Sweet Home? That was my bit! No, but I'm saying, like, what does that have to do with that? Like, yes, ease on, man. All right, Luke, we got the front cover art of a purple moon. Let's see what the back cover art is. Oh, very original. Is that a shade to the artists? <laughs> Earlier, she was saying, no, I was artists. just saying, no, no, that was, I was quoting you. Like, <laughs> uh, but these are, it's not even like a mirrored version. It's literally the exact same thing, just printed on the pages. All right, next up. We're not, gonna, Uncle we're not going to go through th each uh, each piece of art, but there we go. Bayonetta. I would love you to flip the camera upside down. All right, no, we're not going <gasps> to. He's so pretty. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we're just going to skim through just for us, but we'll have it like this in case you guys really want to look. Oh, this is her shopping at the start. Oh, and she also turns into that form in the prologue. Yes. I, s I watched that one. That was that one. You don't watch any of my videos. You lying That's SOB. S you lying SOB. Prank. First of all, my Viola. V-I-O-L-A. Viola. I need to go for this Viola, <laughs> I've been meaning to say it on stream, but Viola it seems very indicative of like Naruto Uzi Uzumaki to me. Uh, Luca is a little bit like that, but I think Viola is more like it because she's kind of like punkier and she also has the ability to fight where Luca has the ability to run away. Um, <laughs> and she's like, believe it, I'm going to be Hokage one. Oh my God, look at this art. He this farted. Who, Mr. Oates? It fucking smells over here. Smell it. Mi I'm not going to smell it. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mr. Oates is very... Um, very he's gassy. He's our, he's our gassy cat. When we first got him, he actually had bugs uh, in his stomach. He had bugs in his stomach, which which made him which made him be more gassy than usual. Uh, in our next chapter, we got Jean, who's in her like Princess Peach attire. <laughs> Aww, cute. She has gray hair now. I thought she had blonde hair. Mm, pretty sure she always had gray hair, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, then we got Luca. Oh wow, we're just we're just skipping right over these guys. Other characters. Uh, 
Luca, Rodan, and Enzo are actually like main characters of the game, so you wouldn't think that they'd skim over them so fast. Look at all these interchangeable belt buckles. That's going to be you. What is that supposed to mean? It means that you usually wear like a giant ass cowboy belt buckle, so I'm assuming that you're going to get more eventually. Here we go. We got Arch Eaves. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! I haven't gotten to these ones, so this is the one that I'm currently wearing. That's the outfit that I'm wearing. Um, she's a skater girl. She's a skater girl. That's her. Uh, this is the one that we just unlocked recently. What? This is so pretty. It's pretty ugly when you actually. Yeah. No, this is. To clarify, this is what the bayonetas look like, and so. Um, I don't. I know for a fact this outfit is not an option. You can't. You cannot. You cannot look exactly like this or if you do you can't have like like the colorful options don't look as good as this so I like the colorful options so right now we are in Cairo so we're definitely about to unlock this one right here probably in the next chapter if uh, we're about to hit chapter 9 so if it's not in chapter 9 it's gonna be in chapter 10 and we are definitely going to switch to this outfit uh, well, we're going from Cairo to this. What is what is this? this is Egypt? Wait, these are both Egypt. What? There's two Egyptian bayonetas. Yeah, we have two Egyptian bayonetas back to back. So a little interesting there. Um, I wonder if they're both gonna have unlockable ones. And then this is like our. Mad Hatter. This is some JoJo's bizarre. Adventure. Mad Hatter X JoJo X JoJo Joestar X uh, X um, Morgana. Which, which JoJo babe? I said Joestar. Jonathan Joestar. My They're favorite. all JoJo. Okay, I've I've never seen JoJo before. Um, I, but you were the one that referenced it. It actually he actually looks a lot like uh the villain. What Dio? Dio. He looks a lot like the original. She looks a lot like the original Dio. Um, wait, so this is B three. So this is B three. The other one is B. China. China. <laughs> That's what it said. That's what it's called. China. I was talking about this one. So it goes. To <laughs> so it goes Tokyo. It goes Tokyo, China, and but then there's two Egypts. So this the first one is definitely in Cairo because that's where you are right now. But then there's another one right after it. I don't actually don't know which one I'm gonna play as. I think probably this one. I like, I like the um, extensions versus this one. It's kind of bat wings. But we'll see, we'll see what they look like once we buy all the colors as well because sure. it's gonna be different. But what I was gonna say about this is it reminds me a lot of uh, James from uh, Pokemon. Like Mad, Mad Hatter sure. x Morgana x Jojo x. Uh... <laughs> Next page. <laughs> Ooh, we got Demon Masquerades. More spoilers for us because we haven't completed the game yet. So this right off the bat is the um, Madama Butterfly Demon Masquerade. Sweet home Alabama. Then we have G <laughs> then we have Gamora, who I love. Gamora. I wish she was a demon that we could actually summon, but we can only become her as a Demon Masquerade. Um, very beautiful. This one is the one that we currently use the most. Uh, it was one of the first weapons that we unlocked and it's just like one of the best weapons ever created. The spider. The spider. The spider. The small. It'll we be a spider. We haven't unlocked this one yet. Looks like a dragon. Rawr, am I right? Rawr, ah. rawr XD. Ooh. They getting into some furry shit in this shit. Yo, once, once, hey, yo. once you start anthropomizing salamanders, now now that's too That's far. where I draw the line. Yo, see this. This looks like another Madama Butterfly. It smells minty. Does it smell like the book fair? It smells like minty. It smells minty? It does smell minty. <laughs> Did they do that on purpose? This is like a fish. This is like a fish person. I wonder if we're going to be able to do Mr. So our, move the table. So our cat, our cats, uh, our singular. Cat. I'm afraid to pick you up because you'll fart again, and that shit stank. Uh, our cat likes to, or he walks around with his tail straight up in the air, so it. 
I really don't want a high five. Because we're a team. <laughs> uh, so, so our cat likes to walk around with its tail straight up in the air. And its tail is so stiff that when it, it ran into the table right now, it moved the whole table. Um, also, I realized if we do this, that looks a lot better. Um, My but, foot's stuck in it. Oh, that's okay. Uh, so I think this looks like a fish person. So I think that she's going to be good for fishing. Good, good for fishing around. This is another dragon person. They have two sets of wings. So this one, I'm assuming it's going to be able to fly. And we just ruined the whole set. It's broken. We're never going to be able to fix it. <laughs> Stop snorting that. Okay, we have played we have played with this before. Uh, this might be like some sort of secret unlock, uh, or it might only be available in the Chaos Rips. Uh, so far, we have not enc encountered a Bayonetta that uses this weapon, but it is in a lot of the challenges, at least two or three of the challenges uh, that we play in the Chaos Rift, which is a Put that shit away, son! Which is a Nilfheim portal, which we've... Uh, we've is like um, Nilfheim portals are like those glowing blue portals. And then we got like a, this one looks kind of like a snakey. I think that this is another one that we've, that we've used in, in the portal as well. They kind of shoot out these tentacles. Train girl! We just got train girl. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I don't fuck with the train girl. No, fuck it off. <laughs> we, we just gave up on using the train girl, by the way, because the train girl... Okay. The train girl was fun for about five seconds until you realize that everybody else is better than the train girl. Here's the thing. It fucks with my head. Why it's so weird head? to be like, oh, it's half animal, half person... Fucking half trained person. Like, that's fucked up. <laughs> well, she might have died as a conductor. You ever think of Unacceptable. that? Unacceptable. Ooh, the rogue. Rogue infernal demon. This is also just showing that we have. We still have a long way to go, which I'm excited for. There's at least two more bayonetas, which means that there's at least probably four to six more chapters. There's a bunch of eyes, but I like that a lot. There's no eyes. What does X mean over eyes? You get it? I, I like it. <laughs> Color my world. Oh, here we go. We got the weapons. All right. Oh, my Jesus. <laughs> Holy shit. Slow down. Grab the wall. I got a... Our first two unlocked. Don't say what you're going to say. We here's our first two unlocked. We got Color My World and Gamora's Weapon. Huh? What was I going to say? You are going to say I'm going to go to the bathroom or something? No, I got to go because I got to do studying. What? What? It's almost 10 p.m. My esteemed guest is going to ditch us. This is the weapon that we have already been using, the one that has the spider with it. And we're going to, I'm only going to go through these really fast because I have not seen them yet. So it looks like we're going to unlock a fan. Fuck the crossbow. Never used a ranged weapon ever in Bayonetta. They're not fun, and they don't they don't get good combos. Uh, the only thing you use it for is when a boss is too far away from you to. Like to. a boss. Hey, we got the train weapons. These are not in any particular order, which is interesting. Okay, now we got the full demons. We're gonna do this upside down, you guys. You're gonna have to turn turn your monitor upside down if you want to go if you want to go through this with us. We got Madama Butterfly. We got this girl. We got Gamora, who is unpainted. He's like primed and ready to get painted for some reason. We got Phantasma Renee. We got Poo Poo. We got Sneaky. Hey, Malphus is here. Oh wait, they have. They do have names. What is this one? Oh, Madama Sticks. Madama Sticks is a uh, Jean's version of Madama Butterfly. Um, then we have oh. Malphus. Lobolus and Owlrain. So this is Malphus here, the bird. Then we have Lobolus and then Owlrain, which I think we actually that is a picture, this is a picture of Owlrain right here as like we fought them in Bayonetta 2. Froggy. We got Ball. We just, we just got Ball in the last, in the last chapter. 
Um, then we have Midland Midland Cthulhu. <laughs> Is basically oh, what that is. We got the Kraken and the train, the Guer Guan, Guan, which That's it was just it was just called the Guan War Train uh, in the actual game. So that might actually be a sneak peek as to what it was originally called um, when it when they first were in development. A fucking Umbran Clock Tower. Okay, and then we have, whoa, Cheshire's original name in the Japanese version is Chow Chow. That's so cute, though. Why did they keep it? I don't know. So, yeah, I think that these are actually, like, uh, like French? It looks like the, like, French? Or no, maybe this is Romanji. I'm not sure. Maybe it's like the French version, maybe it's Romanji. It says et. <laughs> our cat's going crazy in the background. All right, we're gonna do more speed rounds. This is Strider. Uh, then we got the homunculus. Or homunculi is the plural of that. They got a lot of representation of homunculus because they were really proud of them. Uh, but the coolest parts of the games are the demons and Strider and the homunculus are not amazing. Uh, so we got the starting locations. So that's the, this is the, where we did the prologue. This is Rodan's pizza place. Uh, chapter one. Oh my God. Yeah. So these are almost like story storyboards for the video game. So this was, uh, yeah, this was where we fought the spider, uh, persons like main boss. Uh, then we have the China area, and we are actually going to stop there because I don't want to get, um, we're going to go to the, yeah, we're, this is Cairo here, uh, and we're going to stop there because I don't want to get spoiled for the next parts. Uh, but yeah, thanks you guys for tuning in for a little short, a short little stream. Um, I know, like, we're, we're going to, we weren't going through each picture and, like, actually display it on the camera so I'm sorry about that that we're kind of just like speed flipping through the pages uh, but just wanted to show you guys a, a little bit of my reaction and I am very very happy with this book like this book is absolutely amazing and uh, it will be a coffee table book that I actually uh, flip through every once in a while I have this one and a Dungeons and Dragons one that are uh, now my all-time favorite, uh, my all-time favorite uh, coffee table books. All right, thank you guys for joining, and I will see you uh, probably later tonight to do uh, a bayonetta stream. All right, see you guys on the.